Pay attention to this. This was something else we went over today and it to me it was pretty interesting, but Okay, so here we are on the four hour. My concern is, forget the 200 line for a second, my concern is the four hour is overbought. Now, if you take a look at the cues, the last time the four hour was overbought, can it push higher? Yes, but the last time was March 29th, okay? So we need to be aware of that and even say, okay, yeah, maybe we're not going to completely fall down again. We don't know if we are or we're not, right? This setup in March is very different than this setup where you're coming up, backfilling, coming up, backfilling, right? That's very different than what we're doing here, where you just went up. This has support levels the whole way down, which means that it's it's much stronger than what this is, which you could, you could just sell this was just panic short covering, where this is just being built. So it's different, but it's still the same. See that level right there? So you're gonna have to watch that and go, okay, well, every time we're up or over that four hour, what happens? Well, you kind of hit a high, don't you? Okay, so that was another reason when I, I kind of backed off the Tesla, backed off the NVIDIA. It just kind of made me put the brakes on a little bit. You're still seeing uh, the 10 year completely uh, rally, right? So you're seeing the yield drop, which means bond prices are rallying. For those that follow along in the newsletter, even the free version, I've had this one in the free version. And you can see right here, Okay, this is the strongest it's ever been. We're up $10 from that newsletter, nine and a half. And the reason I'm showing that is, Bonds are rallying. So bonds are rallying, but the market's not rallying. That's an issue. And then you start looking at some other things out there that are, are somewhat troubling. And let me just show you this, okay? So here you are on the VIX, and you can see clearly that line. Look at that line. Hey, what did you do today? I ha I've had this line in here. If you go look at Saturday's video, I've had this line in there since Saturday. I didn't just put it in today. And you've bounced off of there. Every single time, if you go mark these dates, go look at go look at the S and P on April fourth. Go look at the S and P on January fifth. Go look at the S and P on November third, November fourth. Those dates that I just gave you have marked the top of the S and P every single time. Why this line's working? I don't have a clue. I just know that it's working. It means that the fear factor is going up. But why, why this line and why it's going up at this angle? I don't know. I just know that it is. That's just technical analysis. So based upon that, my antenna's up. And as much as I hope that this rally continues, I just think that we need to be aware of everything out there. So if you like this clip, click on the left to watch another one. Or if you want to see the entire video, click on the right.